Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Midday Prayer. Uh, looking forward to our time together as we uh, gather on this, in the middle of the storm, uh, for our time uh, of uh, scripture reading, uh, some reflections, um, prayer time, um, a song from our friends at Camp Hill, and honestly, just a time to breathe in the breath of God and take a break, right, uh, in the middle of our day. So uh, we'll get started in just a second. Let me know you're here, and I will um, um, welcome you. And also, if you have folks that you would like to add to our prayers, please put their names in the comments, and I'll be glad to add them as um, we get to that part of our time together. Um, so I'll give people just a minute or two to gather up for our prayer time. And then we'll get started. So uh, hopefully uh, you've got some benefit of this rain. It's raining here at the church. Um, has been for a while. And uh, looked like it did a pretty good job of dumping some water on the parched land. And in many ways, maybe our whole, our systems are parched. And so maybe this midday prayer will be a refreshing sip of cool water for you today as well. So we're going to get started. Um as God's people call together, as we uh, breathe in the breath of God, and we breathe out our cares and our concerns, and we breathe in the love of God, and we breathe out our doubts and our despairs, and we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our fears and our frustrations. Um, so welcome, Lynn. Uh, good to have you with us on, at Midday Prairie. It's a torrents of rain, thunder above you. It was raining and thundering here. It's kind of stopped at this point uh, here at the church. So um, right, if I looked out the window, there'd be a rainbow uh, reminding us of God's presence in the middle of the storm, right? So today our reading comes from the Psalms. It's Psalm um, 145, and I'm going to read verses 8 through 12. So Psalm 145, verses 8 through 12. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his compassion is over all that he has made. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power to make known to all people your mighty deeds and your glorious splendor and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. So the psalmist here is actually singing. This is a stanza out of a of what would be considered a hymn of praise. Um, a hymn of praise to God for um, uh, uh, extolling God's uh, goodness, uh, graciousness, mercifulness. Um, and, and the psalmist paints this picture of all of creation joining in, um, giving thanks and praise uh, for all that God has made and all that God is in and among us. Uh, the very first part of that, you know, the Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love is somewhat of a moniker for God in the middle of, uh, in a lot of the Hebrew scriptures. Um, it describes um, not only who God is, but how God is, right? Uh, good afternoon, Diane. Glad to have you with us. Um, so, um, yes, Lord, the who of God is a Lord that is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. And the how of God is a God that is um, uh, gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. You know, so I was thinking today about uh, how is it that we profess God to be, right? Um, and uh, I think most of us would profess God to be much like our ancient Israelite siblings did. Uh, a God who is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. Um, and, and, and one of the things I think that this psalm does, and one of the things we're called to do, is to um, tell people about this God that we know, this God who loves us, uh, this God who is with us always, uh, even in the midst of a storm. 
And so we do that in many ways. Sometimes we do that uh, by uh, the words that we use. Uh, sometimes we do that in song. Sometimes we do that um, in the way that we uh, sit quietly with a friend who is uh, experiencing some difficult times, uh, who uh, uh, we call that a ministry of presence. And so many times that's, that's really the best thing we can do is just to show up uh, and be with people in the midst of their hurt, in the midst of their questions, in the midst of their doubts. Um, and I, I am a believer that as we sit there, while we may not say a word, God's Spirit um, speaks for us, um, and God's Spirit then lets that uh, our, our friend or our loved one know that they are in fact loved and are not alone. So I, I think to as we go forward as God's people in this time, it's a tumultuous time for most people. Um, as we go forward, I think um, our ability to be able to um, uh, enact uh, God's graciousness, merciful um, mercy, um, and um, steadfast love is um, going to be a, a kind of a healing bomb for all that is in the world that causes us pain. Our friends from Camp Hill are going to talk about what they believe, uh, and uh, in doing so, I think they confess um, the Lord as they know the Lord, uh, something we can do as well. So we'll get back together to pray after they sing. Um, today, they're going to sing, uh, I Believe. So hear them, and then we'll get back together. Um,
no matter what comes, I will always believe. Now, that's a faith statement, uh, one that um, uh, some days we're able to proclaim, other days uh, maybe our sighs help proclaim it when our words can't. And now as God's people, we're going to come together and pray for all of those who need to feel God's healing presence in their life. So join me as, as, so join me as we begin to pray. Good and gracious God, first of all, we give you thanks for shelter um, from the elements, um, shelter from the, the intense heat, shelter from uh, rainstorms, uh, shelter from, um, from harm in so many ways. Um, so we, we do give you thanks for the provision of that shelter, for the way that uh, we can um, live in comfort in, in your world. Uh, we give you thanks, God, for the gift of community, for the gift of um, our fellow disciples who love us, support us, care for us, um, pray for us, uh, and sit with us some days, uh, and simply be with us. We give you thanks, God, for the gift of rain, uh, the way it waters the earth. Uh, it's, we've We've heard maybe already this last few days have been the hottest days ever recorded on the earth. Um, it's very hot outside. The rain does help cool uh, and refresh in the middle of that heat. We give you thanks, God, for the gift of healing. Um, and it is through your power and through your gifts uh, that you give to doctors and nurses and technicians and others in the healthcare field. Um, that your healing is sometimes enabled and can take place. So we pray for that healing to surround um, Helen Hickman, uh, Benny White, Mimi Cunningham, Karen McDonald, Ruby Hyden, Joyce Ritter, Gail Tabling, Robert Sanders, Laura Dareth, Terry, Howard Fales, Rebecca Neal, Glenn Hardesty, Jane Cox, Sabrina, Ryan and Dave, Lynn Smith, Linda Heitzelman, Peggy Helwig, Ruby Gostel, Megan Yunkin, Katie Lawrence, Tracy Strimple, Paul and Dawn, Kelly, Brian Shaw, Jerry, Carlos Amanis, uh, Lynn Anderson, Mike, Keith Wagner, Eleanor Grebe, Bev Diaz, Connie Koss, David, Ernie, and those we name aloud are silent in our hearts at this time. For Kelly as she battles cancer, for Earl and Linda as they recover. For Brian. May God, we give you thanks for the gift of resurrection. It is, um, it is a gift in which we place our trust and our faith that um, your love for us never comes to an end and that we are never in a place, including in death, where we are outside the reach of your love. And now, God, we as your people, we um, join together and pray the words that Jesus taught his disciples to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now as God's people call together in community, we breathe in the breath of God. And we breathe out our tension and our turmoil. And we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our haste and our apprehensions. And we breathe in the love of God. And we breathe out our work and our worry. Again, thank you for joining us uh, for our midday prayer time. Uh, Pastor Tamika will be with you on Monday and Wednesday of next week. I'll be with you on Friday. Um, and uh, don't forget, we also have worship uh, on Sunday, 930 in the worship center and online uh, on Facebook and YouTube as well. Uh, we're collecting our uh, special offering for uh, our to join our BBS uh, folks uh, in purchasing uh, animals through the ELCA Good Gifts program. 
Um, so bring your uh, your special offering along with your regular offering to church on Sunday, or you can make a donation online using our app or our, our website. And until then, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next week.